So, what is the meaning of differentiation? Differentiation is a process of finding a function that outputs the rate of change of one variable with respect to another variable. Actually, there are a few types of application of differentiation, but we will discuss two of them, which is relative rate and applied maximum and minimum problem. Hello guys, so today, me and my friends are going to explain to you guys about chapter 5, which is application in integration. So in this chapter, we have two sub-chapters, which is area and volume. But today, I'm going to focus on area. So basically, area is a shaded region that was found in two boundary, curve, or straight line, which is between function x and function y. So in area, we have two cases, which is the first case is cross-section parallel in y-axis, and the second case is cross-section parallel in y-axis. So we use this formula to solve area questions. So that's it for area, and now my friends are going to explain to you guys about volume. So now I will continue about application integration subtopic of volume. Volume of complicated shapes can be calculated with integral calculus if a formula exists for the shape's boundaries. In this topic, we have three methods which is this method, washer method, and cylindrical shell method. Assalamualaikum and hi everyone! My name is Nodana Balkish Latif. I am from group Libra M3CS1102I. Nice to meet you guys! Hi, my name is Ahmad Ashraful Amni bin Abdul Raza. Hi, my name is Nur Shami bin Tiwan Diazi. Hi, and my name is Nur Muhammad Dayan bin Shafi'i. Hi guys! Hi. Hi! It has been so long, right? We don't see each other. I know, right? Yeah. It has been like what? Two or three months since we last met, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. How are you guys doing? Just fine. Um, uh, nothing. Just fine. Alhamdulillah, yeah, we are good. good. But nothing much. Yeah. It's too many. It's too many moments. Yeah. That's right. It's pretty rough, right? So, does anyone know how to solve question number 46? Oh yeah, I got your question just now. I almost forget. Let me help you with that question. Okay guys, for this question, it asks you what is the area between the curve y equal to x square minus 4 and the x as it. So to answer this question, firstly, you need to write down the formula. So the formula is area equal to integral a to b function on the top minus function on the bottom dx whereby the boundary is negative 2 to 2 function on the top is 0 minus function on the bottom is x square minus 4 dx then we simplify it it will be s power of 3 divide by 3 minus 4x integral negative 2 to 2 
and after we simplify it we substitute it with the boundary which is negative 2 power of 3 divided by 3 minus 4 times negative 2 the bracket substitute we get 2 power of 3 divided by 3 minus 4 times 2 after we do this we simplify it and we will get 16 over 3 times negative 16 over 3 and after that you click on your calculator and you will get the final answer is 32 over 3 unit square so this is the final answers for these questions Oh, like that. Alhamdulillah. Now I understand how to solve that question. Thank you, Anna. I see. That's how you solve it. Thank you for explaining it to us. No problem, guys. Okay, how about question number 50, volume? That question is quite hard for me. Oh, that's question. It's not really hard. Let me help you. So, this is question 50 regarding the subtopic of volume. Okay, we will continue to the question. The shaded region in the figure below is bounded by straight line y equal to x minus 1. The x exists and the line x equal to 1 and x equal to 6. Using the this method, find the volume of the solid generated by revolving the shaded region above the x axis. First, we need to look at the figure then imagine if the figure rotated at 360 degree. So, this is the figure that you need to calculate. I have told you before, volume has three methods. In this question, I will show you how to solve this method. So, the formula that we need to use is this. V equal to pi integrate from A to B fx squared dx. A will be the lower boundaries and B will be the upper boundaries. So, pi will be integrate from where to where? From 1 to 6 at x and b. Then, 1 will be the lower boundaries and 6 will be the upper boundaries. And the function is this. Expand x minus 1 squared. Okay, after that, we can integrate. So, we will get x cubed over 3 minus 2 x squared over 2 plus x from 1 to 6. Simplify. 2 with 2. So, x will be substituted with 1 and 6. The upper boundaries will minus with the lower boundaries. Then the answer is 125 over 3 pi unit cube. Oh, now I get it. You are right. It's not as hard as I thought. I think we should try to do more questions about volume so we can understand this topic better. Yes, that's right. Yeah, I agree with that too. Um, by the way guys, I think I stopped with the questions about related weights. Which question is that, Yana? Question number 30. Me too, I don't understand that question. Oh, that question. I already did that. Here's the solution. So, for question 13, the the question is, a ball's volume is decreasing at the rate of 50 cm cubic per second. Find the rate of change for the radius when the diameter is 40 cm. 
So what I would like to do at first for the first step is take out the information given by the question. So the dv of dv over dt is negative 50 because um, it is decreasing. So it will be ne in negative. And then we are going to find the r over dt, uh, the rate of change for the radius when the diameter is 40 cm. So we know radius is um, diameter divided by 2 so it will be 20 cm so what is the uh, formula for a sphere a ball a ball is a, a sphere right so the formula is 4 over 3 pi r cubic so um, we just have to differentiate the uh, formula so dv over dt equals to um, so here we are going to differentiate r so we are going to put 3 in front and um, minus this with 1 so we can cancel out the 3 4 and don't forget to put the r over dt at the back so we just have to uh, sub substitute dv over dt with negative 50 and then negative 50 equals to 4 pi r squared dr over dt and then because we are going to um, we need to find the r over dt we just have to divide both sides with 4 pi r squared so we just and then it will be like this and all we need is um, r which is 20 so we just have to substitute it into the formula and the answer for the r over dt is negative 1 over 32 pi now i get it thank you ash thank you ash no problem uh so i think that's all for now right guys wait one more question which one mimi question number 13 oh question about apply maximum and minimum right yes Hey, that's easy here is the solution so for your questions maybe for question number 13 the question says find the volume of the largest of a couple rectangular box that has a square base and total surface area of 3600 centimeters square because it says open to open rectangular box so this is the shapes of the box and this question says again it have a total surface area of 3600 centimeters square so this is formula for the statement for both to this area we will get 2 multiplied by x square y multiplied by x we got this area and uh, as you can see there we have four of them so we will multiply by four and it's equal to 2600 so so finish that one so as you can see here they have two variable so i want to to get rid of one of them so i choose y so i find the y from this formula so we can get y equals to 3600 minus 2x squared divided by 4x this equation we will apply for volume and we got 900x minus 1 divided by 2x squared so the reason I uh, do this is because if I'm going to take a derivative I just want this to be a very simple below no so that is the next step for our problems. We take the derivative here. Uh, this is a derivative. And I put this derivative 0, which is a standard for these types of questions. So, and we got x equal to 24.5. We can find volume of y. Finally, we get the volume of y and the volume of x squared so we can solve this equation we got 
volume equals to 14,700 cm square. I see. Thank you, Daniel. Now I can solve that question. You're welcome. Uh, sorry guys, I think I have to go. I have something else to do. Oh, it's okay, Diana. It's okay, it's okay. Okay. Bye, Anna. Bye. Okay. See you later, guys. Bye. 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 See you guys later. Thank you, guys. Bye. Bye.